Hey, what's up, y'all? Risen the Williams here, and I'm going to show y'all how to create a squeeze page. Now, in case you all don't know, a squeeze page is nothing but a landing page created for the sole purposes of collecting information from your prospects, whether it's your email, whether it's their uh, name or their phone number, or whatever. Just for the sole purposes of following up with them in case there's a new update or a new product or if you want to just you know sell them product over and over they're your leads for life so what you want to do is if um, there are a lot of advanced ways that you can create squeeze pages that you can purchase but in case you don't have the money to do it I found one that's actually free to create it's a website it's called simple squeeze page generator dot com and I've also put a link below this video in case you know you want to go to it and go ahead and create it. Now, once you go to this squeeze page, it's going to ask you to put your email address in. And once you put your email address in, it's going to take you to this screen. And I'm going to walk you through it just so you have a general idea of how to create one. So what you want to do is once you come to this page, you're going to click on Launch the Wizard Now. And it has four templates that you can choose from. So just for this video, I just say, for example, I choose this one. And then it's going to come to your site title. So now for an example of that, I would put what you know my title is going to be about, what my site is going to be about. So what I would put in is like, let's see, um, how to become an affiliate. And then I'm gonna describe what you know this is about, which I would might say something like a site that teaches ways to become an affiliate. So let's try to see. Okay, and you're gonna use some keywords. I might say learn to become an affiliate. Let's see. Excuse me. I can say a big affiliate classroom, you know, and the, you know, you just put in some keywords that is just related to your, you know, what you're writing about or what your blog is about or whatever product you're doing. And I'm gonna say you can choose a color. I'm just gonna choose red because it seems to convert a whole lot better. Okay, now your main headline. Uh, that's gonna be like your biggest headline that you're gonna see. So. I would say something like um, you know,
here today. And, and this is just an example again. So for video purposes, let's see. And you're gonna see exactly why, you know, you're gonna see exactly the way I should have did it in a reverse angle, but you're gonna actually see why I put these in these areas. You know, it's gonna all add up. It's gonna look decent once you see. Body area is where, like, your opt in box. This is what's going to show above your opt in box. And let's see, I'm going to put something like that. And then after you get these filled out, you're going to hit next step. Um, you don't really have to worry about these two. And this right here is your opt-in code. This is where you want to put your opt-in code in for your autoresponder. And let me show you how to do that real quick. Okay. As you can see, I've logged into my autoresponder. This is what I'm going to use it for my BIQ affiliate site, my blog. I'm going to go to web forms and then I'm going to hit create a new web form. <clears throat> and then I'm going to scroll to the bottom right here where it says name and email. Um, it's just going to be a quick demonstration. So I want to put like some color in it. Maybe so what I would do is I would go to Form type. I'm gonna choose header and I will choose whatever color I want. So for this one, I will choose red. And as you can see, it's changing. I'll do the red and then I want to change my submit button. The color I want for that would also be red. And maybe want to straighten it out just a little bit. And I might want to add like a phone number in case you want to put the phone number there. And you can also add pictures and everything on this. I, you know, that's a whole other demonstration. I just want to show you how you can just create a squeeze page. But if you want to add in a picture or something like that, you go to image and then it's going to ask you to add the URL of the picture. So at the event, I will. Let's see. Close this right quick. And I'm gonna save to web form. Once I save it to web form, then I'm gonna publish it. And then where it says I will install my form, I will go to raw HTML version. I will copy it. You know, copy this whole thing. Then I will go back to my squeeze page, opt in. Uh, here we go. Um, wait a minute, 
just tag it. Hold on. One second. Right here. And then I will paste this on the inside of that. Then I'll go to the next step. And then you're going to have two choices. You can either preview your site or you can download it to a zip file. Let's preview the site. And this is what your site will look like. See, if you are afraid to make changes to your uncomfortable lifestyle of living paycheck to paycheck, then this is not for you, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then as I go down, this is where they put their opt-in code in. This is how you will capture their leads. So that was just a brief demonstration. I hope this has helped you all. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to give me a call. Or you can also review some of my videos. You can review this over and over again until you get it. But anyway, this has been a, another demonstration of how to create a squeeze page from Reginald Williams. Hope this has helped you. Have a good day, y'all.